everyone, my name is Gang. Welcome back again. I hope 2021 gonna be the best year for you all. So I'm gonna smash this year with the Avatar series. No more talking, so let's get into it. Here this is my built-in folding shelf I just took down when I bought this place. It's 60 by 60 centimeters with 40 centimeters high. It also has a space back here. So I'm gonna flip this guy to be an ottoman slash storage. These are some of my inspo of the aviation stools bench that I'm gonna make one. So what I'm gonna do is just put on the metal to both sides of it. Then do the cushion seat on top and then create the door for the storage here and the back. That's the idea. First of all, I have to clean down all the dust and remove some silicone sealing off. After it all clean, I apply this contact paper inside of the storage to make it more rich and expensive. And I lay it over the edge as well. Now one side of the storage is done. You can see the edge is kinda messy. But I think it's okay, it will be covered later on. So let's finish the other side. Here it is, totally different and looks so far so good. Next, I'm just cutting the aluminum sheet around 10 by 10 inches. And I guess I need 8 or 10 pieces for both sides. Now it's time to attaching the aluminum. So what I'm gonna do is just folding over the edge of the sheet to tuck away the sharp inside. Then I'm starting to bend it over around one inch, upright 90 degrees as you can see. And then I'm just bending some more at two centimeters as thick at the edge of this box. So now we got kinda U shaped for covering the edge. Here is a tricky part to covering the corner. All I need to do is just cut the sheet off around one inch at the U shaped like this. This is for covering over the other side. Then I just cut some more at 2 cm, but this time I'm not gonna cut over the bottom of this U shaped. I just leave it like a triangle there, as you can see. And after that, I'm just folding diagonal like this, so now I got a nice fine line to the corner. And again, I'm bending the sheet 90 degrees to fit the other side. So now we got a perfect metal sheet covering this corner and covering inside of the storage as well. Then I took the sheet off and gluing down the surface with this glue. I used to say this is a hot glue but actually it's not. I don't know what kind of this glue but it's just like an industrial multipurpose strong bond like E6000 kind of glue. You guys know. So I'm just tapping it, let it stay in place and dry, and I add the staples over the other side. This is how it looks after all the corners are covered, and now I'm going to do the middle section. This one is way easier to do, I'm just bending the top and the bottom side of the sheet just to make it fit in, that's all. So 
so now I'm just marking dots by tapping the screwdriver around 1 inch spacing in every single sheet for rewetting. Then I just take it outside and bring it down to get ready for the next step. For rewetting, I just put down the rewets into the holes first. So this is a foam sheet I just created to protect the aluminum when I do rewetting. It's such a game changer. I didn't make a scratch and scars on the surface tons of the time from the past project. So now problem solved. So I just did the other side of the camera. And here it is. I'm already obsessed with it. Now I flip it over and screwing it inside the storage. Then they use the sheet from contact paper to cover up the surface for protection during the project. Moving on, it's time to do the cushion on top of it. So I'm just gluing down the seat foam over the surface. And then I'm cutting off the excess. But I don't think the foam I got is thick enough, so I'm just adding another layer to it. Then I just add on the poly bedding on top by easily stapling underneath the top surface. So I'm gonna do both sides at the front and the back. And then I trim it off. This is a brown full leather that I'm gonna use for this one. So I'm just folding it over to the edge of the top. And I use this silver nail hairs to it. Then I start nailing a couple of nails at one side first. Then I just swap it over to the opposite side and add the nails on to make sure the leather is taut in the right direction. And then I run the nails in every inch to it. Here it is. Not bad for the side, it is a good sign. So I'm gonna finish the front and the back by wrapping the leather over the edge underneath the top and then they put down the nails in the same process. For the corners, I'm just folding diagonal and nailing down. That's it. Now I'm gonna create the door for the storage. So I used jigsaw cutting the hardboard at 14 by 22 inches at the same size as the storage space. And I also cut some narrow pieces of the hardboard 2 inches wide to flame up the door to get it thicker. Then I'm doing the same process as I did the kitchen. So I'm just add on the seat foam just only one layer, then poly bathing, and then put the leather on top of it. So I put the leather tie and run the staples to the back side. And for around the corners, I'm just creasing and gathering it tight together and then staple down to it. Now I use the same contact paper as I did inside of the storage earlier. So I just lay it down to the paperboard. And the size of the paperboard is just 1 inch smaller than the hardboard. So this is for covering the back side of the door as you can see. And I'm just nailing the tiny nails down to attaching them together, and that's it. Okay, it's the final cutting down. So I just cut some narrow strip of the leather around 2 inches to cover the edge of the bottom side. And here for the corners, I just fold in diagonal like this. And then I'm installing the door. So this is a magnetic push latch or push catch, whatever you call. So I'm just installing it right at the edge underneath the top inside the storage. Then I install the small hook to the top of the side. 
and I screw down a chain to the side of the door just for hanging up to the hook. Here we go. And now both sides of the storage just done. Last but not least, I'm going to finish the bottom side by gluing down the aluminum sheet to it. Then I'm screwing all over and put the wheels on. Then I'm getting ready to reveal it. So I'm just cleaning the aluminum and polishing the leather as well. And good to go. Alright guys, I hope you like it. So see you next video. Peace. Bye.